welcome to Informatica University Success Academy. Informatica Master Data Management Cleanse List. In this demo, we will create and test a cleanse list. Cleanse list. What is a cleanse list and what does it do? A cleanse list, like the name suggests, is a cleanse function. You could use this as part of the mappings or you could attach this to the Entity360 applications or the IDD application so that the value gets cleansed on the fly. So the cleanse list contains non-standard values and their corresponding standard values and developers need to maintain this data set. So like I said earlier, you could use this in the staging phase or in the E360 application or the IDD application. To manage this, developers can manage the search strings and the corresponding standard values in an external table, or they could also manage that within the MDM system. This will require manual or maybe a scheduled refresh so that the new values come into effect. Let's take a look at how to create a cleanse list and test it out. Log into your MDM hub and click the cleanse functions workbench and then get a write lock. Then I will create a user library here. I will call this as demo. And inside this user library, I will create a cleanse list. So expand the demo to right click and we'll say add a cleanse list. Now notice that we see the other options of adding a graph function and adding a regular expression function here. Right now we will add the cleanse list and we'll give this a name. Ideally you will have some naming conventions for every component within the MDM. So in my case I'll go with the CL and I'll call this as my list. Once the cleanse function is created, you will have to create a set of non-standard values, the ones that you expect, and their corresponding replaceable values. You could define that in the details tab here. If you maintain that in a separate table somewhere in another database, you could import that just by clicking this button here. You could connect to the database and then import it from the tables. In this case, we will create that within the MDM. So all I have to do is click this green button here and I'll replace this search string with just one letter. Now notice the match type. You have three kinds of match. The first one is an exact match. It is simple. The second one is a regular expression and the third one will use the SQL like syntax. So we will keep things simple and go with the exact match. This is one combination. The other combination is in the camel case. I will also want to replace that with M. And then I will add another set of string here. And this is going to be the output string. So now that the cleanse uh, list is ready, we could go ahead and test it. And before you test it, you need to make sure that the process server is online and it is available for cleansing. So we go into the test. The input is obviously the value that I want to test. In my case, it is mail. And then these, each of these values that you see here, they are defaulted to something. And you could see that here. So we'll go back to the test. We will click test. The intention is that this value should be replaced with the capital M and there you go. So again, the job of a cleanse list is to search for non-standard values and replace that with standard values. The set of standard and non-standard values needs to be maintained by the developer either within the MDM hub or you could import that from an external table. 
The second thing is you would want to do a periodic refresh of these tables so that any new values will be updated here. So now I have the cleanse list, but where do I use it? I could use this in one of the mappings here. So I could go into, let's say, here, and I could simply get a right lock, and I can add this as a function. And if you look underneath the demo, you see our cleanse list here, and there you go. So this is the cleanse list. Now all you have to do is simply map and then test it out. So this concludes the demo. Thank you for watching.